good news on the newspaper page And love and tradition of the grand design Some people say it's even harder to find Well then there must be some magic clue Inside these gentle walls Cause all I see is a tower of dreams Real love bursting out of every scene Please rise as our party platform staff. Mr. Dorsey! Let's start the graduation here. Remember, the graduates are viewing the ceremony from their own homes this year. But now that you're all standing, we will start the ceremony with our national anthem sung by Kennedy's own Eliza Batten. We acknowledge that we are on the land surrounded by water, originally inhabited by Indigenous peoples who have traveled this area since time immemorial. This territory is within lands honored by the Wampum Treaties, agreements between the Anishinaabe, Haudenosaunee, Lene Lenape, and allied nations to peacefully share and care for the resources around the Great Lakes. Specifically, we would like to acknowledge the presence of the Three Fires Confederacy, Ojibwe, Odawa, Potawatomi, and Huron-Wendat peoples. We are dedicated to honoring Indigenous history and culture while remaining committed to moving forward respectfully with all First Nations, Inuit, and Métis. On behalf of the entire staff, we would like to welcome the parents, grandparents, 
guardians, friends, and extended family of the 2020 graduating class to the 91st Kennedy Collegiate Institute graduation. To the graduates, you have become part of this prestigious group of alumni, such as the Honorable Earp Gray and the former provincial MPP, Sandra Pupatello. You have closed one chapter in your life, but have the opportunity of opening many others as you continue in your pursuit of education and career. As Malcolm X once said, education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. You have provided to us, the SAP, the opportunity of sharing and being part of your time at Kennedy. You may only now be able to fully understand how your educators, parents, family members, and your peers have helped to influence the person you are today, many of your dreams and ambitions. Congratulations and best of luck as you continue down your chosen pathway. Now for greetings from the Greater Essex County District School Board, we welcome School Board Trustee, Mr. Ron LeClaire. Graduates, families, friends, staff, it is my pleasure and honor to be able to address you this evening on behalf of the Board of Trustees. All of my colleagues and I would, of course, prefer to be with you in person for this occasion. However, I know that you understand why that's not possible right now. I hope you also appreciate, as we do, the effort of your school community to create this presentation to acknowledge, at this time, the Class of 2020. This has been a difficult period for everyone, students, their families, teachers, and administrators. It has been, in every way, a crisis. A crisis, but not a catastrophe. We have, with the highest intention and incredible creativity, continued to provide high-quality educational opportunities in as manageable a format as possible. I am proud that we have shown and seen exceptional strength, fortitude, and resilience but that is merely my perspective. The most important assessment, however, should be your own. How did you perform as an individual, as a citizen, as a student? This should not just be applicable to the past few months, though. Your greatest, your most sincere responsibility should always be to yourself during an emergency, as well as each and every day. We are marking your achievements in school to date so I hope you smiled today and said, well done. You have made it through these past few months, but more significantly, you have endured all kinds of different tests over your years in school. You may not have chosen all these challenges, but you have accepted them and done what was required to succeed. I urge you to use the experience, recent and former, to continue to strive and to achieve. I look forward to the opportunity of congratulating you face to face at the appropriate time and in the appropriate fashion. Congratulations, and I wish you much success in your future. Thank you very much. Thank you, Trustee Mr. LeClaire. I now invite Director Aaron Kelly, Director of Education, to say a few words on behalf of the Greater Estes County District School Board Senior Administration. Graduates family members, friends, staff. Welcome to what we hope will be a unique experience for everyone. This is not the ceremony that anyone envisioned when the year began or at any point in our collective memories. Though I'm extremely thankful that we have the technology and resources to be able to provide this modest recognition of your exceptional achievements. We also appreciate the efforts of all those who have taken the time and energy to produce this video. Excuse my predisposition as an educator, but I do have a question for the class of 2020. However, this quiz will not be graded, and there's no correct answer. What have we learned from COVID-19 pandemic and the impact it has had on us educationally, socially, and emotionally? Take a moment, maybe later, to think about this through a lens of gain and not loss. Sure, we've sacrificed many things for our health and well-being, as well as for those around us but I know you can also consider the ways in which we have grown and the things we now appreciate previously that we may have taken for granted and how our perspective on our place in the world has evolved in the last three to four months. 
For instance, I think we can agree that all learning doesn't have to happen in a classroom. And lessons don't just come from textbooks. Our experiences in the world can teach us a great deal. Some of you may be watching this alone, but I think you realize that you're not by yourselves. There are many people that you don't see on the screen and probably haven't seen for some time who are supportive and concerned about your well-being. Graduates, you belong to an exclusive fellowship. Your final year of high school is historical in nature. Each of you, and all those in every other high school in this province, can lay claim to the experience not shared by any other cohort of students in a century of public education. While significant, one year is a mere sliver of a student's experience and should not overshadow the value or importance of your entire adventure. Look back on this year as a moment, an episode in a long-running, binge-worthy series, and how many great shows that you've watched in the last few months had disappointing finales, or final episodes that weren't perfect, but were still good enough to be entertaining. So we urge you all to take all that experiential learning, as well as what you've received in your classes, labs, and lectures, and use that to be good citizens, whether you're alone at home, with your families in the future, or during gatherings of more than five people. Congratulations, and I wish you all health, happiness, and success. You make me very hopeful about the future. To become the valedictorian of the graduating class is a great honor. This year's valedictorian is a true Canadian and represents what Kennedy is all about. This young lady is truly going to be missed by everyone. Honestly, the school is just not going to be the same without her. I now call upon Tina Nguyen to present this year's valedictory address. Can you believe how far technology has advanced in the past 18 years? We've grown up with it our entire lives. The first YouTube video was posted while we started kindergarten. The first tweets were created as we learned how to spell words as short as IDK or TBH. And the first iPhone was released while we were learning that one plus one does not equal window. All those times we were on our phone at school, watching videos that we weren't supposed to, or listening to music through the hall, with one earbud, of course. Not once did I think we'd be graduating on YouTube. Yet here we are, at our virtual graduation, to celebrate our accomplishments as we turn the page into the next chapter of our lives. Isn't it fitting since we're called the technology generation? I hope our parents and teachers are paying attention to the many lessons we've given them on how to full screen a video, remove the cursor from the screen, or how to turn up the volume. So moving on to the next chapter, through the internet, I want to start off by giving credit where credit's due. None of us would be here without the help of our parents, guardians, siblings, and friends. Thank you for always being in our corner and encouraging us to do the best that we can. To our teachers, mentors, and administrators. Thank you for helping us find our way on this quicker ship. Your support means more than you'll ever know. You might not hear it openly from most of us, but the state of the world right now tells me that we don't have time to take our lives and the people in them for granted. Graduates, take a minute to appreciate the people in your life who have helped get you here today. And give yourself a pat on the back too. You have put in the hard work and this graduation ceremony is all about celebrating that. But before I move on, I also want to give a final shout out to some other lifesavers from the past four years. Quizlet, Kahoot, Sparkles, Photomac, Google Translate, VPN, and all the other apps we use for our classes. Thank you for always having our back, especially at 3 a.m. the night before Mr. Jurassic's unit test. We've missed out on a lot of milestones this year. Prom, an in-person graduation, Coop, be your prank, be your skip day, Canada's Wonderland, school musical, multicultural night, relate for life. I could go on but we've also made a ton of great memories together. We've had three different principals, we've won REXA, SWAXA, and OXA championship, and we've set the bar for what it means to be a great Canadian pretty high. I might say that this spring, we pulled the ultimate senior skip grade. So, you're welcome. It's only been a few months, but it also only took a few days for us to miss the simpler one when we were still in school, making the lift up, cheering for our class during grade nine presentation, Going across to the plaza or eating the cat cookies for lunch. Eating together at the pancake breakfast. Going head to head with other classes during food. Showcasing or performing at Arts, Beats, and Eats. Watching the play in Stratford. Competing with your team against other schools. Watching Mr. Arthur get pie in the face. Or getting herded into the cafeteria for a walk down. 
and it's usually not until years later that grad graduates think of the good old days, but for us that isn't the case. I'm learning to appreciate life more because in the blink of an eye, those moments we were looking forward to were gone. Now, we're moving on to the next chapter in our lives, and to quote pop legend Hannah Montana, I've always got the memories while I'm finding out who I'm going to be. As each of us goes our separate ways, we're all bonded by our unique time at Kennedy and the collective embarrassment from watching Mr. Stone try to grab. This year has taught me that life is unexpected and it's not always going to go as planned. But you just have to appreciate what you have and embrace change. Because what's a story without conflict? Look at Mr. Eastman. The man who loves paper and projectors more than anyone is using Esme for the first time and has been on it every day without fail since we started this distance learning. The greatest piece of advice I've ever received was to step out and actively live my life. Stop letting your own insecurities prevent you from being who you want to be. No matter what happens, good or bad, a memory will come out. If you let fear run your life, then you'll always be asking, what if? What if I had the courage? What if I tried? One day, that memory is going to make a hell of a story. And your life stories are what make you. The world is going to remember the class of 2020. And each of us will have our own story to tell about this crazy year as we move on to achieve the extraordinary. Right now, there's a lot of hate in the world. Our generation is going to change it for the better. What else would the world expect when we've grown up watching and reading about teenage revolutionaries who fight against systemic injustice? And Harry Potter, The Virgin, The Giver, Blade Runner, and The Hungry. Graduation is our official send-off before we go our separate ways. It's a time to remember where we come from, to recognize that our accomplishments, and look to the future. Wherever each of us goes, I know we're going to do great. Greatness looks different in everyone. It comes in all shapes, sizes, and life paths. It's up to you to decide what greatness looks like in your life. Over the past four years, this graduating class has been a force to be reckoned with at Kennedy, and we're just getting started. As Walt Disney once said, it seems to me that we have a lot of stories yet to tell. So graduates, it's time to flip the page into the next chapter of our lives and become the author of our own story. Thank you, Tina. Indeed, your words will resonate with everyone who is watching tonight for years to come. I think our graduates have some memorable moments that they would like to share. My favorite KCI memory was joining the track team because it was really fun and I made a lot of new friends. My favorite memory at KCI would be going to leadership camp in grade 9 and also participating in Special Olympics. I would say my most memorable moment at KCI was joining Chisholm because I got CPR training so I'm now CPR certified. We had fun field trips and it was just overall a good experience to go, like, to go through with my friends. My favorite memories at Kennedy were grade 9 day and grade 9 cook. I could definitely say that my favorite memory is making new friends, meeting more new people, and having had experience this amazing school during my exchange year. So for my favorite memory at Kennedy, it would have to be the Christmas assembly that just passed, actually. My favorite moment at KCI was really for life, hanging out with my friends, as well as the spirit days we had throughout the years of Kennedy. My favorite moments at Kennedy was being a senior leader for the grade nine orientation, hanging out with my friends, and going on to Chisholm Future. My favorite moment at KCI would have to be the Special Olympics event, where us leaders come together to host a track meet and a dance party for those kids with special needs. Favorite moment from Kennedy is winning the semifinal versus Brennan before we lost in the final. My favorite memory at Kennedy is grade nine orientation with Madame Michetteri. I had a lot of fun and I hope grade nines in the future have a lot of fun. My favorite moment at Kennedy was scoring the winning goal in the semifinals of WEXA for Kennedy soccer. My favorite memory at Kennedy is when in grade nine, a group of us went on a field trip to Niagara Falls. Favorite memory at Kennedy was when we went on a trip to Stratford to watch To Kill a Mockingbird with my grade 10 English class. So my favorite moment at Kennedy was being a grade 12 leader on grade nine day. I'm going to miss my school to school is me, your arts class, and this is Sonia. One of my favorite moments being at KCI would probably have to be grade nine day because the grade twelves really showed spirit and leadership towards the grade nines and showed that Kennedy is an amazing place to learn. My favorite moment of KCI is all the rehearsals and performance from your good man, Charlie Brown. My name is Julian Clement and first off, I would like to start by thanking my teachers and the staff at Kennedy for helping me along my journey. 
My favorite moment at Kennedy was my soccer season in grade 10 and grade 11. In grade, in grade 11, we had an undefeated season, although we lost to Riverside in the finals, but that's okay. I still enjoyed it with my teammates and my coaches. Also, I had a terrific football season in grade 11. It was my first time playing the sport, and I thank all my coaches for having patience with me. Thank you, Kennedy, for everything. My favorite moment at KCI was being a leader at Grade 9 Orientation. It was a really fun day, and I'm glad we all had fun in the Grade 9s. It was like a very proud moment to be a Clipper. Favorite memory at KCI is multicultural night. My favorite moment at Kennedy was in grade nine when the entire school got together and recorded the Kennedy lip dub. My favorite memory was helping out for grade nine day. I love to see all the grade 12s that have grown with over the past four years come together to organize this event for grade nine that I know was unforgettable for them. My favorite memory at KCI was the 2019 Relay for Life because I was able to put on an event to raise money for those affected by cancer in honor of my dad. My favorite memory was volunteering for the Special Olympics. I'd have to say my favorite moment at Kennedy was probably the time where uh, Isaiah Georges and Mr. McDougal rap battled in the gym. It was probably the funniest time because like the stuff they were saying to each other was just so dumb. But like the fact that everyone was around and everyone made it more fun. Hey guys, it's Shadia and Zasta. Our favorite memory at KCI was grade nine orientation. Because it gave the grade 12s an opportunity to work together and show the grade nines what KCI was all about. Hi, so at my four years at Kennedy, I made a lot of great memories, but I just had to pinpoint a couple. So the first one is chocolate and cheese day with Madame Machinery, because that's everybody's favorite. Like who doesn't like chocolate and cheese? And then the second one would have to be Mr. Jurassic's nap time. And the third one is grade 10 Ms. Dower's class when she reenacted Romeo and Juliet for us. My favorite moment at Kennedy was dressing up as Wednesday Adams for Halloween. My favorite memory at KCI would be helping organize the grade 9 orientation in my senior year. Okay, so other than annoying Mr. Platt and Ms. Dilworth literally every single day, um, my favorite memory about being at Kennedy would probably be joining Schism. Um, it was such a cool experience and it opened your eyes to a lot of things, not to mention we literally got to go on field trips and play on playgrounds, and every field trip you went on, you were with your best friends and Miss Dilworth, and it was just such a cool experience. My favorite moment at Kennedy Collegiate was probably meeting a lot of amazing people and also the school spirit that Kennedy has, especially with basketball. So, yeah. It is my pleasure to welcome Kennedy's principal, Ms. Kim Rushlow, to speak on behalf of Kennedy administration. Hello, graduating Kennedy Clippers of 2020. My name is Kim Rushlow, the principal of Honorable W.C. Kennedy Collegiate Institute for the 2019-20 school year. Thank you to Eliza Batten for the lovely O Canada, Tina Nguyen for your inspiring valedictorian address. Thank you as well to Director Erin Kelly and Trustee Ron LeClaire. I am addressing you virtually from the halls of Kennedy. I acknowledge this isn't the graduation ceremony you or any of us envisioned for you. I'm sure that you've been dreaming about your walk across the stage with your family and friends cheering in the crowd and the celebrations to follow. You have all had various obstacles during your lives to this point, and for the past few months, you've been experiencing an unprecedented obstacle in the form of a global pandemic. This is happening during a critical phase in your life, which has left you missing out on nearly half of your grade 12 year. Graduates, each of you are entitled to grieve your loss without guilt. Whether it be grieving prom, sports teams, relay for life, multicultural night, time with friends, the school play, rich learning environments, face-to-face -face time with your teachers, a typical grad ceremony, and so much more. Take the time you need to process your grief and then plan to move forward. In the midst of all of this, there are things that haven't changed and are still within your control. What could these things be? Just to say a few, they are characteristics such as kindness, love, imagination, and hope. In our diverse Clipper family, 
you have had four years of displaying these characteristics within the walls of our school. They have always been available to you and always will be. Our world needs kindness, love, imagination, and hope more than ever. And graduates, I personally observe above and beyond your academics, extracurricular activities, personal hobbies, part-time jobs, social circles, these characteristics that are within your control still are what got you to this moment and will be the same things that will carry you through whatever that is that's next for you. Your character is defined by your daily actions, your habits, how you treat others, and in turn, all of this leads to your achievements, big and small. So regardless of your chosen pathways of the workplace, apprenticeships, college, or university, there will be more obstacles to overcome. So as you navigate your way through them, always remember to focus on the love, kindness, imagination, and hope. The things that will still be within your control. Graduating class of 2020, I am proud of your teachers, coaches, all the Kennedy staff, as well as your parents, guardians, family, friends who have guided you along the way to help you become the young adults you are now. I am so proud of you and all that you have accomplished in four short years. Once a clipper, always a clipper. As you step into your future, embrace your vision with purpose and passion. Thank you, Ms. Rushmore. We're going to turn things over to Ms. Christine Dilworth and Ms. Karen Benson to present the Kennedy Scholarships and Bursaries for this year. All awards and bursary winners will be notified with information about how to obtain their awards. These are the 2020 Kennedy Scholarship. The ETS Scholarship is an award funded by the staff of Kennedy. This award is chosen by the Physical Education Department. It goes to graduating students who have been actively involved in fitness class or the after school program. They must have been actively involved in extracurriculars and been a positive role model for leadership within the school. Hey everyone, it's Luke Wilson, tight end with Seahawks here. Uh, I'd like to congratulate all the Kennedy graduates. Um, it's an amazing accomplishment. I'm looking forward to what the future holds for everybody. Uh, at this point, I'd like to announce the ETS scholarship winners, and that goes to Lurlar Hay, Jessica Lai, and Asad Jued. Uh, congratulations, you three, and congrats to all the Kennedy graduates. I uh, really do believe your future is bright. The Kennedy 80th Reunion Scholarship is awarded to a Kennedy student who demonstrates exemplary dedication to volunteering within the community. This year's recipient of the 80th Reunion Scholarship is Reem Kanaka. The Kennedy Booster Club Bursary is sponsored by our dedicated teachers who commit their time to running bingos to help with athletics at the school. The bursary is awarded to a Kennedy student who, in their four years at Kennedy, has participated in athletics and is graduating with a 70% or higher average. This year's winner of the Kennedy Booster Club Bursary is Evan the Kratzis. The Clippers with Character Award is founded collectively by Kennedy staff with the purpose of recognizing students with high moral character and citizenship. Our staff is very honored to have the opportunity to present these awards to 10 very deserving students. This year's recipients of the Clippers with Character Award are Ragad Abu Jami, Alan Tran, Mackenzie Peach, Sana Al Haddad, Ayat Ibrahim, Ilham Tahar, Asba Arain, Kayla Wilson, Yasmin Johnson, and Blessing Blessing. The Principal's Award for Leadership goes to a student or students who exemplify leadership within our school. This year's recipient is Tina Wing. The Helen Moe Memorial Award. Helen Moe was a teacher at Kennedy from 2009 to 2012. During those years, she founded the school's Gay Straight Alliance, co-published the school newspaper, The Seahawk, and coordinated the school's multicultural festival. A memorial fund was started by the staff of Kennedy, who worked with Helen and were inspired by her selflessness, devotion to her students, 
commitment to the school, and spirit of giving back to the community. This year, we're proud to present the Helen Moe Memorial Bursary to two students who exemplify what Helen stood for. This year's winners are Eliza Batten and Ovanique Porth. The Almeida McCaig Scholarship is given in honor of a Kennedy graduate who went to Kennedy from 1933 to 1937. It is given to a student of only Kennedy with at least a 75% average who is attending university or college. This year's winner of the Almeida McCaig Scholarship is Lena Tran. The Jeffrey Mitchie Scholarship is given in memory of Jeffrey Mitchie, the son of Pat and Tom Mitchie, who was the principal at Kennedy from 1984 to 1990. Jeffrey was killed in a tragic accident. This award honors his memory and goes to an outstanding Canadian attending college. The winner of this year's Mitchie Scholarship is Fadak Khalil. The Ken Mercer Memorial Bursary was just established in memory of Ken Mercer, a Kennedy graduate who passed away suddenly in 2016. He was an active volunteer in the local hockey, soccer and baseball leagues and was a man with a big sense of humor. His family is pleased to award this bursary to Leah Leon. The Marilyn Parkinson Bursary is awarded annually to a female student attending a post-secondary institution studying human kinetics. This year's winner of the Marilyn Parkinson Bursary is Ava Mio. The Compass Group Award is an award given to an outstanding Kennedy graduate who has shown dedication to their studies and a contribution to school life. This year's winner of the Compass Group Award is Celine Chirac. The Chartwell Scholarship is given to an outstanding Kennedy graduate who has shown dedication to their studies and a contribution to school life. This year's winner of the Chartwell Scholarship is Amira Atrice. The Sharp Bus Line Scholarship is awarded to a student who is dedicated to furthering their education in a trade field. This year's winner is Cade Tyler. The Lieutenant Governor's Volunteer Award is given to a student who is recognized as an exemplary volunteer among the graduating class in his or her high school. It pays tribute to those students who do not only complete the number of volunteer hours required to graduate, but who have gone above and beyond. The award is a unique and specially designed commemorative pin produced in Ontario's color of green and gold. This year's winner of the Lieutenant Governor's Volunteer Award is Reem Kanafer. Congratulations, graduates. Thank you to Ms. Karen Benson, Ms. Christine Dilworth, and Mr. Luke Wilson for presenting all the scholarships and bursaries to all of our deserving students. Our true purpose for this evening is to honor all the graduates with their diplomas. Each student will be announced and given a moment to be acknowledged for their achievement. Usually, we ask that you save your applause until the very end, but this year we encourage you to be as loud as possible. Cheer and give your graduate at home a standing ovation to let them know how proud you are. Graduates, don't forget to appoint someone watching to move your tassel from the right side over to the left side after your name has been called. I'd like to introduce Dr. Mike Predley and Ms. Tanya Pesedre, who will be reading the names of all of our graduates. Ali Abdul Salam, St. Clair College. Zane Abdul Zara, St. Clair College. Ragad Abu Jamay, Western University. Saina Amadi, St. Clair College. Kasim Ada, St. Clair College. Yakin Al Shamari, University of Windsor. Haydar Al Alawi, St. Clair College. Allah Al Dalami, University of Windsor. Sana Al Haddad, St. Clair College. Fatma Al Hamdani, Henry Ford College. Maryam Al Hamadawi, University of Windsor. Baha Al Husseini, St. Clair College. Mohammed Al Musawi, University of Windsor. Faisal Al Shamari, 
University of Windsor. Kuda Al Safi, undecided. Zainab Al Abdurasol, University of Windsor. Robert Aldana, undeclared. Mohammed Ali, Lambton College. Nimco Ali, University of Windsor. Hannah Al Kaburi, St. Clair College. Wafa Al Kaburi, St. Clair College. Sarah Alves, Pontifical Catholic University of Minas Gerais. Mohammed Amin, University of Windsor. Asba Arain, University of Windsor. Vanessa Archer, St. Clair College. Chelsea Atkins, Undeclared. Amira Atras, University of Windsor. Jabrail Badradeen, St. Clair College. Jenna Badradeen, St. Clair College. Colin Bannon, St. Clair College. Desmond Bapti, undeclared. Abbas Barakat, University of Windsor. Hayden Barker, St. Clair College. Chloe Barnett, St. Clair College. Eliza Batten, University of Windsor. Zainab Bazi, undeclared. Alvin Bechevik, St. Clair College. Brooklyn Belanger. Tiara Burnaby, St. Clair College. Skyline Bertozzi, volunteering for Harmony in Action. Jesse Bishop, returning to Kennedy. Blessing Blessing, returning to Kennedy. Jack Mortelin, University of Windsor. Nicholas Bukas, University of Windsor. Isabel Brooks, St. Clair College. Curtis Brown, returning to KCI. Garrett Brown, St. Clair College. Kyle Brown Fazekas, returning to Kennedy. Akil Riaz Ahmed Butt, University of Windsor. Aaron Kane, Fanshawe College. Zainab Shamas, undeclared. Benjamin Canciales Becerra, University of Windsor. Lily Cecile, returning to Kennedy. Celine Sharaf, University of Windsor. Yusuf Shahade, University of Windsor. Duran Clement, St. Clair College. Dallas Kuche, undeclared. Savannah Davidson Curran, undeclared. Damian De Los Santos, undeclared. Brian Din, University of Windsor. Tommy Doe, University of Windsor. Tien Doe, University of Windsor. Damian Donaldson, St. Clair College. Maylee Duong, St. Clair College. Randy Duong, University of Windsor. Nathaniel Ear, University of Windsor. Serene El Holly, University of Windsor. Hadi El Haj Hassan, undeclared. Fatima El Hashimi, University of Windsor. Sasha El Rife, St. Clair College. Tatiana Farhat, St. Clair College. Obanik Alicia Four, University of Windsor. Keontae Gaines, Fanshawe College. Madison Gardner, 
Undeclared. Hunter Garlow, Undeclared. Hattie Goshen, St. Clair College. Giovanni Giuliana, University of Windsor. Tanner Grass, Undeclared. Dante Green, Undeclared. Shade Grenier Powell, St. Clair College. Zara Haydar, Undeclared. Deira Hall, St. Clair College. Rowan Hamoud, St. Clair College. Lurlar Hay, St. Clair College. Olivia Hennon Clinton Smith, St. Clair College. Holly Hickey, Workplace, then University of Windsor. Hunter Hughes, returning to KCI. Urshan Hermuslu, St. Clair College. Esma Huskich, St. Clair College. Julie Wynn, University of Windsor. Abdi Salam Ibrahim, undeclared. Ayat Ibrahim, University of Windsor. Yusuf Isa, undeclared. Anthony Jabur, St. Clair College. Gracie Jackson, St. Clair College. Cassie Jacobson, undeclared. Deco Jama, undeclared. Alyssa Johnson, St. Clair College. Yasmeen Johnson, University of Windsor. Kelsey Joseph, University of Windsor. Assad Jouid, St. Clair College. Jacob Kashi, St. Clair College. Gurleen Cower, University of Windsor. Jordan Kennedy, undeclared. Fadak Khalil, St. Clair College. Mohsen Khan, St. Clair College. Reem Kanafer, University of Windsor. Dawson Knott, undeclared. Marissa Collard, Fanshaw College. Lauren Labute, St. Clair College. Amber LaChapelle, St. Clair College. Phoenix Lambier, returning to KCI. Joshua Leclerc, St. Clair College. Isaac Lethbridge, undeclared. Leah Leung, St. Clair College. Sean Luenza, heading to college. Peter Lee, University of Windsor. Mohamed Liban, St. Clair College. Tia Marie Luangrat, University of Windsor. Jessica Lee, University of Windsor. Justin Lee, returning to KCI. Manrup Mater, University of Windsor. Noah Maggio, St. Clair College. Jacob Main, Workplace. Ahmed Malak, University of Windsor. Matthew Mallon, St. Clair College. Abbas Mansour, University of Windsor. Nicholas Martin, returning to KCI. Taylor Mason, St. Clair College. Lewis McMaster, returning to KCI. Maddie Metivier Bishop, Lambton College. Ava Mio, University of Windsor. Isabel Muel, University of Windsor. 
Tajir Mohammed Ahmed, St. Clair College. Abdirahman Mohamud, undeclared. Michael Moore is entering the workplace. Nathaniel Murray, returning to Kennedy. Mia Mike, St. Clair College. Rhea Nandi Pamu, undeclared. Zasta Nasrallah, University of Windsor. Christine Ng, University of Windsor. James Wynn, undeclared. Justin Wynn, University of Waterloo. Shelley Wynn, St. Clair College. Tina Wynn, University of Waterloo. Hussein Ali Nizam, University of Windsor. Mahdi Nizam, St. Clair College. Musa Nizam, undeclared. Zane Nizam, undeclared. Maddie O'Connor, St. Clair College. Patty Obeid, University of Windsor. Jacob Olafson, St. Clair College. Emma Olette, taking a year off to work. Billy Patterson, Jr., returning to Kennedy. Mackenzie Peach, St. Clair College. Alexander Fang, University of Windsor. Aliyah Verso, Durham College. Levon Pierce, undeclared. Sarah Pilon, University of Windsor. Kieran Primo, Fanshawe College. Jerwin Raganjan, St. Clair College. Noor Ramadan, University of Windsor. Melanie Reese, undeclared. Carly Roberts, St. Clair College. Garrett Roca, undeclared. Amber Rock, St. Clair College. Mohammed Safar, University of Windsor. Taha Safala, undeclared. Rafe Saleh, St. Clair College. Wase, St. Clair College. Ardell Scott Jackson, returning to Kennedy. Mariam Shahada, St. Clair College. Atik Shahid, entering the workplace. John Small, St. Clair College. Olivia Smithson, St. Clair College. Aya Sood, St. Clair College. Ingham Sood, St. Clair College. Ilham Tahir, University of Windsor. Hussein Taki, St. Clair College. Demetria Taylor, undeclared. Matthew Thompson, St. Clair College. Mazen Tia, returning to Kennedy. Hannah Tolson, St. Clair College. Alan Tran, University of Windsor. Alexander Tran, University of Windsor. Daniel Tran, St. Clair College. Yavi Tran, University of Windsor. Karen Tran, University of Windsor. Lena Tran, University of Windsor. Jonathan Truong, University of Windsor. Tina Thal Trung, St. Clair College. Wolfgang Troop, University of Windsor. Dominic Tulio, undeclared. 
Kevin Turpin Cassidy returning to KCI. Cade Tyler, Fanshawe College. Cody Urquhart, St. Clair College. Evan Vakratzis, University of Windsor. Otis Vakratzis, University of Windsor. Tyra Vassallo, St. Clair College. Paulina Verdina, University of Windsor. Relia Volvodich, University of Waterloo. Michelle Vaughn, St. Clair College. Dana Wallace, St. Clair College. Andreas Wallace Bedford, returning to KCI. Lexus Walsh, undeclared. Haley Weir, University of Windsor. Kylie Whitehead, St. Clair College. Kayla Wilson, St. Clair College. Tyson Woods, returning to Kennedy. Shadia Yusuf, University of Windsor. Zafrania Zafar, St. Clair College. Mohamed Zubaydi, returning to KCI. Not only do Mr. Jaworski and I wish all the graduates congratulations, so does the rest of the staff. Let's hear what they have to say. Oh, hey there, graduating class of 2020. Miss Jean Yak here to tell you that I am proud of each and every one of you. But just because you're graduating doesn't mean that your homework's done. This world is filled with magic, and it's your job now to go out and find the beauty in the simply ordinary. Don't forget, live your life big, don't be afraid to be bold, and fill your life with dynamically composed experiences. Congratulations, class. Congratulations, graduating class of 2020. Hi, grads. I know today doesn't look at all like what you thought it was gonna look like. And I hope that doesn't cloud over your accomplishments or your excitement at starting this new chapter in your life. Remember that you are capable of imagining and creating a brighter future for yourself and for all the people around you. So my parting advice to you is be kind, stay curious, and give more than you take. Oh, and read a good book now and again. Hi Clippers. Just wanted to wish the graduating class of 2020 best of luck for the future. Congratulations. Congratulations grads on navigating four years at sea with the KCI Clippership. Best wishes, stay healthy and safe. Congratulations graduates. You are officially a part of Kennedy's history. Best of luck in the years to come. Congrats, Kennedy Clippers. You did it. I'm so proud of you guys. I'm going to miss seeing your faces in the halls and in the office. And I just want to wish you guys all the best in your future. Make sure to continue to sparkle, to shine, and to smile. We're going to miss you lots, and good luck. You got this. Congratulations, graduates. Over the past few years, we both had the opportunity to teach some of you. And now, we want to wish you all the very best in your future endeavors. Congratulations class of 2020. Remember, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. Good luck. Congratulations, graduating class of 2020. Everyone at KCI is super proud of you and we can't wait to see what you have in store for the future. Great job. Hey Clippers, congratulations to the class of 2020. Wishing you much success and determination as you embark on this next adventure. Hello to our graduates of 2020. Every day, may not be good, but there's something good in every day. Remember to take a moment, take a breath. Life is just starting. Good luck, congratulations to all of you. Congratulations, Clipper Class of 2020. Every graduating class tries to leave their mark somehow. Unfortunately, the world's crisis did that for you this year. However, it makes you and your accomplishments no less memorable to the staff and halls of Kennedy. 
In fact, you persevered and came through on top in true Kennedy style. So congratulations once again, Clipper grads. All the best in your future. Congratulations, Clippers of 2020. I know this isn't what we expected, but keep your heads up and I know you guys will do amazing things. I'll miss you and be sure to stay in touch. Congratulations, graduates. It's Madame Michere sending you a quick shout out to say, well done, félicitations. You survived, you were amazing. You did great things during your four years. You were a great group of grade 12s. You will be missed. A mes petites frites, je vous manquerai. Bonne chance au futur. Uh, and never forget, we won grade nine orientation together. Come back and visit us, you'll be missed. A bientôt. Hello graduates, this is just a quick message from Dr. Prentley just to offer you congratulations on your graduation from Kennedy and to wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Thank you for your time spent at Kennedy and best wishes to you. Congratulations class of 2020, I am so proud of you. Although your graduation may not be what you had always envisioned, know that you have many, many great moments to look forward to. And now, as you're stepping into your future, I have three pieces of advice for you. Be courageous, be hopeful, and always be there for one another. We are behind you, cheering you on, Clippers. Congratulations, Kennedy graduates. I can't wait to hear about all the fantastic things you guys are gonna accomplish in the next couple of years. Have fun, stay safe, and make sure you guys work hard to create positive change in this world. Congratulations, all Kennedy seniors, and best of luck with your future endeavors. To the graduating class of 2020. I'm sure you've learned enough in high school English to understand symbolism well enough to know that while the staff of Kennedy cannot be behind you on that stage you plan to walk across tonight, we are and will remain behind you, rooting for you for the rest of your lives. I hope that you will go on to live a life that you can feel proud of every day. It has been an absolute honor to share the halls of this castle with such remarkable people. When I said it would be back for graduation, I didn't imagine this. Congratulations, class. 2020. To the graduates of 2020 KCI, my friends and I wanted to say congratulations and best wishes for next year. We're so proud of you. Congratulations Clippers on your graduation and remember, stay anchored. Stay strong, be kind, and remember, once a Clipper, always a Clipper. Congratulations grads. Congratulations, Clippers. Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, and you can steer yourself in any direction you choose. We are so incredibly proud of each and every one of you. Congratulations, class of 2020. Hey, KCI 2020 grads. I miss you and wish you all only the best as you move forward despite this pandemic. I hope you are staying positive and continue to work hard during these tough times because it is through that you learn perseverance and how truly capable you are of achieving success. Congrats, good luck, and happy mathing always. Congratulations, graduates. Here's to a bright future. For the first time, I am in a school long enough to see my little grade nines grow into big grade 12s. We started our journey at Kennedy together and now you're all headed on journeys of your own. Take the memories with you as you go on to make new ones. You are truly an amazing group that will always have a special place in my heart. Congratulations, graduates. Continue to grow, learn, and seek higher things. Always a clipper. Hi there, grade 12s. It's Miss Venantilli here. Congratulations on your graduation. If you guys can get through this year, you guys are going to have no problem getting through the rest of your life. I just want to give a special shout out to all my volleyball and soccer girls. You guys are the best. Congratulations. <laughs> It's been a pleasure getting to know you guys for the last three years. I wish you all the best and one more thing, I did not ride at the end of Mean Girls. Thank you, take care. Apparently there were technical difficulties with my first video. So, congratulations class of 2020. I wanted to say three things to you before you go. Firstly, it's been a pleasure getting to know all of you for the last four years. Secondly, please come back and visit anytime you like. And thirdly, and most importantly, I did not cry at the end of Mean Girls. Thank you, take care guys. Congratulations class of 2020. I am really proud of you. To my grade 12 music students, I had such a wonderful time with you. 
I had a blast. You guys made me laugh every single day. And I hope you come back to visit, share your talents, keep playing music, keep singing, keep playing those guitars and those instruments. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm wishing each and every one of you all the very best. Remember to keep reading. Congratulations, graduates of 2020. You did it, you're graduating. For my media arts students, I want to give a special shout out for all the fantastic artwork you've provided me with for the past four years. Especially the Cade artwork, which maybe next year I'll have a little bit less of Cade artwork. Maybe. Congrats, graduates. Hey guys, it's Mr. McDougall here, and hopefully you have taken some of the lessons that you have learned in phys ed class over your time at Kennedy. Now, to give you the first lesson, the person that's really in charge of this department Miss Purnell. Being in charge means giving everyone a voice. I even allow Mr. Savaggio to have a voice once in a while. Hey grads, of course I get a voice. I'm Italian. Now, there's one thing that you always have to remember. You need to do everything with passion. No matter what you choose to do, do it with passion. That's all that matters. I appreciate your opinion and your heritage, Mr. Salvaggio, but without healthy eating, you won't have the energy you need to be passionate. Hey everyone, don't be so serious. Sometimes life gets hard, you just gotta kinda sit back, take things slow, don't stress, and smell the flowers. You can have all the passion, nutrition, and fun you want, but sometimes hard work prevents you from getting old and gray. Who you call it, old and gray? That should stand for OG, which is short for original gangsta. I am the original gangsta, and I've been around long enough to realize that this group of graduates that walked through the doors four years ago were instrumental in changing the culture of Kennedy. And for that, on behalf of the Phys Ed Department, we congratulate you on the graduation and we wish you best of luck in everything that you do. Peace, work hard, be nice, love one another. It is now time and we are very excited to share with you this year's graduates video, capturing your four years of high school. We would like to thank Ms. Megan Simon, our media arts teacher, for putting together not only this next video, but the entire graduation video. Her hard work along with the media art students has made this night possible and special. We appreciate all their efforts.
conclude this year's ceremonies, we salute the graduates for their hard work and dedication. Thank you to parents, families, and friends for all your continuous support and for watching this celebration of excellence. Good luck to all of our graduates with your future endeavors. And always remember, Altiora Peito, we seek higher things. Okay, grads, this is it. Grab your caps, find some open space. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the 2020 graduating class of Kennedy Collegiate. Hey Clippers, as the class of 2020, let's sing the school song together one last time. One, two, three. Merrily we sing thee, Kennedy our own. You can hear your blows cheering as the gold our team is here playing by the to our culture. Our guides will ever be, though we may leave our hearts and forget. Hero Kennedy, rah, rah.